Just like the Industrial Revolution did in the past, the Digital Revolution is reshaping the dynamics of society today. We are now capable of participating in trade, politics and philosophy at a global level with only a few clicks of a button. At no point in human history has our species been so able to connect and communicate. This can be as profound as providing free information to everyone in the world, as Wikipedia does, or as pointless as getting into an argument in the comments section of a cat video on YouTube. Like all profound shifts in the structure of our society, it will benefit people who choose to engage with it and who understand how it works. However, despite being the defining tools of modern life, the majority of people do not understand computers, the software systems that go with them, or the networks they are used on. And so there are fantastic career and personal growth opportunities available for people who possess this knowledge. In this subject, you'll learn about some of the key areas of computing. This includes the physical components that make up computing devices, in addition to the instructions and programs that help make the hardware useful to a computer user, the system software. Discussion will then move to computer networks and how computers can be interconnected. A network can be confined to your home or can cover the whole globe. For example, one global network that interconnects millions of computers is the internet. You'll create a simple website and, in the process, learn how e-commerce, websites and other internet services have revolutionized the way we work and live. Two common software applications will also be introduced. Microsoft Excel will be used as a tool to model problems and analyze quantitative data, which you will come across during your studies as an IT student. Microsoft Access will be used to develop and teach the fundamental concepts of database systems. Finally, and most importantly, you'll look at some ethical issues that affect how we use information technology and its implications for us and the wider community we live in. In summary, at the end of this subject, you will have gained a greater understanding about the following. The physical components that make up computing devices, networks and interconnection, how to create a simple website, how to utilize Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Access, and ethical issues specific to information technology.